Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel What The Beck. I know today's upload is super late but I had a lot going on today so it kind of slowed down the process but I'm committed to getting these out on Sunday so here we are it's nighttime whatever. So as you can see in my flip through of May that was the last month I was able to fit into my Dingbats bullet journal and now I'm using an Archer and Olive notebook. Um, it's kind of similar, kind of different. I'll be doing a review video in about two weeks on this journal, but um, this month's bullet journal theme is bees because y'all voted for that. It was two votes against one and I entirely forgot that <laughs> June is Pride Month and as an LGBT person, I wanted to put some rainbows in here. I didn't get to that today because I was kind of on the run. As you can see, I actually finished coloring my cover page on the go and I did all the washi taping and other stuff beforehand. But I didn't get to add any rainbows into this part of the month, but I'm pretty sure my second, I guess they're bi-weekly spreads because I use like one page per week, so four weeks two spreads. The next one will probably be rainbow for June, um, but yeah, you'll see that in the flip through for the next month. What's the next month? July? Wow, okay. So this is actually my 12th bullet journal setup video, which is awesome. It's kind of nice that it went a full year on YouTube, um, like in the bullet journal. So now if you want to see every single bullet journal video I've ever made, you can click on this playlist up above. And while you're up there, you can also vote for the next theme in my bullet journal. Um, it'll probably be something super simple because I am running out of stickers to use as the voting choices, but you can still vote on that and I'll continue to do that with whatever stickers I have until I use my whole stash up. So for anyone who's new to this channel, I have this spread called Best and Worst and it's essentially how I sum up my day. I write the best thing that happened and the worst thing that happened and that kind of helps me figure out where my mental health was that day compared to my surroundings. So yeah, that's what that one's about. And I actually found my Crayola Super Tips while I was at home, which is great because I literally just bought them last summer and I lost them about like a week after I got them. Um, so I found those and I decided to do some cool lettering uh, decoration, which is just like an ombre where you color the top half of the thick downstrokes one color and then the bottom half a different color and then you like flick upward to make them blend together somewhat. And yeah, I think that turned out really cool and it the colors, I really did a good job if I say so myself picking the marker colors for this month. <laughs> so the next spread that I was putting together after the best and worst spread is my lettering spread. And as of right now, I have no idea what lettering challenge I'm going to do. It'll probably be Cindy Gunter Baldo's challenge. I've said this like a million times before, I like using her challenges, but if it doesn't particularly speak to me, I might make my own and then use like different words about bees and like drones and honey and stuff like that. And I also don't know what style of lettering I'll be doing. As you can see, I did something I like rarely ever do in the titles of my spreads this month, which is the calligraphy with a like, well, it's not a brush marker, it's just a regular marker, but you like change the thickness of the line. Um, I don't do that that much. I don't know if I'll be able to do that every single day because it's a lot of effort but the point of the lettering is to get better at one style. So maybe I'll do that with like a smaller nib pen, like my, um, I don't know what it's called. I got it from the crafts store like forever ago, but I have enough room that I could do bigger letters this month, but I'm really not sure what I'm doing for that style yet. And now this is what I was talking about before with the bi-weekly spreads. I basically do very minimal decorating on these because I use a lot of space for journaling and the rest of the space for tasks. So it's basically just the top and bottom are decorated and then as I go, I can put stickers to reflect on my day and stuff. But overall, I just leave it as open as possible so I can cram as much stuff in and get as many weeks as possible into my bullet journal. So now we're going to do the flip through and as I said before I had to actually finish my cover page after making this video but then we have my habits, best and worst, and lettering spread and then one weekly 
this was fairly easy to set up this month. I think it turned out pretty cute and I just love bees so I think it looks awesome and I love that I got to use my stickers up. If you like this video you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so it'll tell you when I upload them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!